What's up YouTube? Mimi here coming at you from my channel Bunny Birdie Gator. I saw this recipe on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out so I wanted to bring you guys along. This is the first time I'll be making this. Hopefully it turns out good and looks as good as this. Mmm. Alright well step one is preheat your oven to 375 and spread eight ounces of pretzels onto a cookie pan lined in aluminum foil. So let's go ahead and do step one and two. This is a 12 ounce, uh, 12 ounce bag of pretzels and I'm going to go ahead and just pour the majority of the bag. I'm not going to measure, but I'm going to pour the majority of the bag onto the cookie pan. <laughs> just take, take a couple, Shamar. Okay. <laughs> and you know, it says you can break the pretzels or leave them whole. I think I'm just going to leave them whole. Okay, and my oven is heating up. Okay, now I need to get out some of the other ingredients um, to make the sort of caramel toffee layer. What we're going to do now is we're going to take one cup of butter and one cup of packed brown sugar and we're going to put it into a medium sized saucepan and bring it to a boil. Make sure you stir and what else? It says just make sure everything's blending together nicely. So here are here's my butter and there's my brown sugar. It doesn't say if you need salted or unsalted butter, so I just grabbed what I had. Here's my challenge, my little personal challenge to myself. Does anyone else do this? See if you can get everything ready by the time the oven beeps. Well, the oven's already at 335 and it's supposed to be up to 375. Okay, so I have the um, butter going here. Here's my little silicone um, spatula I got at Dollar Tree recently. Just going to start moving that around. Sorry you guys, I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm just kind of filming in segments. Putting the camera down as I need both hands and have to grab things. So I think, it doesn't say to do this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and melt the butter up a little bit before I put the brown sugar in. And this is a... Um, power burner. If anyone uh, has that, this is a Whirlpool uh, stove. If anyone else has a power burner, you know you got to watch that power burner because things boil really quickly. It says uh, we need a rolling boil and we need to keep the heat at medium and stop stirring and let it bubble away for about three minutes. I'm going to go ahead with my one hand here and put the brown sugar in. I'm afraid of this power burner, to be uh, all the way honest. <laughs> Guess what? I lost the, I lost the competition. The oven won. It's ready to go. So, I love pretzels. You guys know I love pretzels. And we have some days off from school. Thanksgiving's coming, and I just felt like bacon. I, I'm not going to show you guys the rest of my kitchen right now because, to be honest. I just finished um, cooking, we ate dinner, and I just figured I'd get into this because I told the kids I'd make them this delicious, yummy pretzel bark. Uh oh, got things dropping. Got things dropping from my little pen bucket over there. I'm afraid not to stir it, you guys, really. I think I gotta keep stirring. Three minutes. Ooh, that seems like a long time. It's still not melted all the way. Okay, I'm gonna try to be good and try to just leave it alone for a little bit. Put some timer. Got brown sugar on my fingers. Okay. What are you doing? Getting another pretzel. That's your last one, okay? Okay, 
it's bubbling away. Something kind of relaxing about that sound, right? Don't want to melt my camera on the power burner. <laughs> Keep it going and stop stirring, it says. Let it bubble away for three minutes. Okay, so the next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to immediately pour the hot candy over the top of the pretzels. So this here, what we're boiling, is acting sort of like a toffee. Going to pour it on top of the pretzels. If you have a few gaps, it's okay, it says. The candy will fuse together when you bake it. Pop it in the oven and bake for five minutes. Okay, so we have about a minute and 40 seconds left. And we will be pouring this hot, hot toffee, liquid toffee over the top of the pretzels here real shortly. I'm just, I'm, I'm like over here trying to just keep myself from grabbing my spatula because you know that part of you in the kitchen that's that cooking you that's used to stirring everything you just have to tell yourself no 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 don't stir it so I'm not stirring and it's really hard to resist not stirring it okay so we got the countdown going on here yeah that's Jimmy the kitten X over there Yay. talking to me she can't wait for pretzel bark and neither can my boys how do you make that so this this is two sticks of butter and a cup of brown sugar mm. and that's all it is okay 35 seconds left the oven's ready as you know I'll be pouring this over the pretzels here real soon and in it'll go. So you just pour that over the pretzels? Yeah. Cool. I'm kind of scared to be pouring this and being uh, filming for y'all at the same time, but I'll try, okay? It says immediately pour. So here I go. Okay, y'all, lots of noises going on in the background. The dog's barking and... Ooh, it's not pretty. It is not pretty, y'all. What's going on in this pot? Okay, so I'm going to scrape this with my spatula and then I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. Okay, well I just poured it and I put it in. I feel like there's some dry spots where the uh, candy liquid didn't go. So hopefully it'll turn out. Okay, I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Okay, so next step was to get two cups of chocolate chips. And every bag of chocolate chips is roughly two cups. So I have this ready in my bowl and we are almost ready here. A minute and 11 seconds left. I have more, um, more thieves coming on in here. Every time I turn around, it's either my little son or my big son or my daughter. <laughs> okay, so as soon as it comes out of the oven, we will immediately be sprinkling these chocolate chips all over the top. It says allow the chocolate to sit for five minutes while it soaks up heat from the candy and then spread the melted chocolate out over the top of the bark. So let's go ahead and take it out. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to do it and film at the same time. Okay, again, this is um, two cups of just the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, so let me remind myself what we're supposed to be doing here because I'm that sort of cook with everything beeping and everything going on. Um, let it sit for about five minutes and then spread it out over the bark and then add sea salt if you like. We think that the pretzels are probably salty enough so we're not gonna add the sea salt. Okay, so here we are with about, oh, how much time do we have left? 
a minute and 46 seconds left. Um, it looks like it's melting pretty good. And take a look. So here in about another minute, I'm going to go ahead and spread the chocolate in, and then we have to let it set up for a while. So, okay. So it says we need to allow the candy to set up after we spread the chocolate, and we can pop it into the fridge to speed up the process. And then it says cut into chunks and enjoy. But, you know, I'm kind of worried because I have some dry patches here, and I don't know how well it's going to spread some areas where I didn't really get my chocolate chips. Thinking maybe I shouldn't have poured my chocolate chips. I should have, like, kind of, you know, taken a few by hand and really been meticulous in how I sprinkled it. But, anyways, I think it's just about time to spread the chocolate chips, so I'm going to get started on that. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little close up on how well it's spreading. Um, kind of looking through the viewfinder here to spread it. It's kind of a weird way to spread it because it's, you know, you have the chunky and coarseness of the pretzels. The chocolate chips are pretty well melted after five minutes, so they were right on with the time frame of that. They look solid, but as soon as you touch them, they're just melting down into a nice, creamy chocolate spread. Okay. Mmm, don't you wish you could have some? Mmm, you gotta go make some now. This is really, really easy. Uh, the only way I wouldn't make this again, and I haven't even tried it yet, but I know I like chocolate, and I know I like pretzels, but the only way I wouldn't make this again is if it just doesn't set up right. Because, you know, these ingredients are so simple, so good, and this was really a quick recipe. All right, so be sharing with you in a little bit. Come here, Tux. Tux. And everybody, this is Tux. This is our little Boston Terrier. He's almost 11 years old, and I just have to say, Boston Terriers are great family dogs. So I just wanted to show him. Little Tux. He's getting old, but he's a good boy. Yes, he is. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put it in the fridge. So it's been setting for a while and I'm kind of peeking in here and you know you'll kind of feel some areas are hard but then as you go kind of into a little crevice it's still kind of you know chocolatey so I think it needs more time. I'm thinking maybe an hour in the fridge. Again this is the easy toffee pretzel bark. So here's how it's supposed to look cracked and served, so let's see how ours looks. Let's just take a look at how hard this actually got here. Um, it's one solid piece, and it is stuck to the tin foil. Yes, look at that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good, I think, I hope. I had to come and show you guys this. Look at this. It's like one big piece. It looks so cool, look at that. I just peeled it off of the, the tin foil. It's just one big, humongous sheet. This is so cool. Your kids will really like making this with you too. I just wanted to do a test run and see how well it went. I really like this process. If it tastes good, I'll definitely be making it again. Yeah. Okay, I tasted it, and I'm definitely gonna be making it again. Um, my kids are ready to taste it. now. It doesn't serve up so, so pretty on a dish. You have the underside, which is the toffee side. My dog's over there um, begging for some. <laughs> Can't have any tugs, has chocolate in it. And then you have the pretzel side, and then you have the toffee side. So I kind of just flipped some around, did some pretzel side up, some toffee side up. Well, all right, you guys, thanks for tuning in with me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and please keep your comments coming all right bye